Hello and welcome to this uh, snowfall update here. This will be the uh, the final uh, snowfall uh, update I'm going to do for this past and hopefully last storm of the winter season. Uh, so we're going to go from with the uh, Upton New York offices first uh, with their snowfall totals and look at Connecticut briefly. It's not really an area that I focus on, but you could see how New England here, uh, New London County, which is more toward Rhode Island, they they got uh, hammered over there. Uh, and only one, New Jersey got nothing, the northern part of it. Uh, well, the areas out of Upton, you know, got, you know, the, uh, you know, Bergen, uh, Essex, they got nothing. Uh, but anyway, let's focus on uh, Long Island here, Nassau County. Uh, the plain view, they took that plain view report out, obviously, that had to be erroneous. There's no way 11 inches. Uh, uh, fell in Nassau County. So the highest number would be Jericho at six. So the northeastern part of the county uh, got the most uh, of it. Queens, very little. Uh, but look at Suffolk County. Uh, they got hammered at east, just hammered. Uh, Southampton, 18.3 inches. Uh, there was just a heavy band that just sat over that area uh, for hours on end and just dumped a lot of heavy snow over that area, heavy wet snow. So it's going to be a mess over there. Uh, Interesting though, East Hampton came within with a reading of 10.3. I think that may wind up being higher eventually in the end, but it all depends. That band didn't actually wind up setting up over East Hampton. It actually set up right over South Hampton. Right over South Hampton. That seemed to be the area that really got nailed. Um, Orient, uh, North Fork also 10 inches. As far as about this 10 inch amount, Center Reach, Stony Brook is 8.3, Comac 7.5. I'm curious where the Upton reading is. Yeah, only 4.5 at Upton, so. Interesting, there was like, in the Pine Barrens, uh, it's like there was a little gap almost uh, bet between, uh, I would say, Riverhead and, uh, and well, I'm trying to use the roads here for an example, but I'll use Riverhead and uh, Nichols Road. And between those two areas, it seemed like there was a little dry spot where it was actually less snow than to the west or to the east. So it's interesting, it's just the way the band's set up. It's very hard to predict that. I mean, you take a look at Ridge. Ridge hardly got anything uh, out of it. So, uh, yeah, very little uh, for uh, some parts of Suffolk that I thought would get more. And it uh, seemed like certain areas in the central part of Suffolk that were on the North Shore, namely uh, Center Reach, Stony Brook, and St. James, they got the higher amounts. Uh, but by far, like I said, out east was where uh, the, the biggest amounts came came from, from the storm. And uh, maybe there will be some more readings and... You know, if I see more readings, I may have to do another update, but hopefully this is the last one. So let's go and take a look at the ones from the Philadelphia Mount Holly office. All right, so barely anything uh, in, yeah, Atlantic County, barely anything. Burlington, barely anything. Uh, Hunterdon, really barely anything. Mercer, barely anything. Uh, Middlesex, the highest amount was Cheesequake. Uh, Monmouth, surprisingly, Freehold got, like I said, cl close to five inches. Uh, and it, Morris County, uh, again, they got a little more, so they're little pockets depending on elevation. And then Ocean County, so the highest amount in Ocean County would be 2.9, close to 3 inches there at Brick, and 2.5 in Tom's Area. However, by, uh, when I looked at the cameras this afternoon, all the snow had melted, so there is no more snow on the ground in Ocean County. Um, Somerset, 2.7. Uh, Sussex County, again, that elevation played a role, elevation 1,400 feet. Played a role in getting more snow there. Warren County, uh, very little. So, uh, very little uh, snowfall from the storm in New Jersey. The really big numbers would be, uh, like I said, back in our area. And you know what? Uh, I'm just curious. We're going to actually go and look at the office from Boston and see what they have. Because uh, I bet they really got hammered over there. Let's just see just how bad this storm got. All right, so we're looking at the Taunton, Massachusetts office. Uh, and here's the other uh, counties in Connecticut. Uh, that, look at the Wyndham County, 20.1. So yeah, here you go with the really high amounts. And Massachusetts, uh, Barnstable County, and the storm isn't quite done with them yet. So these numbers could get a little higher. Uh, but quite impressive numbers here. This was the area that really got hammered uh, out in uh, out in uh, Massachusetts. Here, look at these. Look at these numbers. I mean, this is just. Actually, this is Rhode Island, right? No, this is Massachusetts, yeah. So we're looking at Massachusetts here. 
Uh, just really two feet numbers, very a lot of damage, a lot of power outages. There are over 155,000 power outages in Massachusetts uh, from this storm. Uh, so they say again, it's that damaging heavy wet snow that has caused a lot of problems. Uh, yeah, look at some of these numbers. So uh, really impressive. This is where this is where they got hammered, and this could have been us. But luckily, it wasn't. It could have been us. Uh, I'm so glad it wasn't, uh, but for them, it's it's a big storm, especially because it's that heavy, wet, slop snow that uh, damages things. Uh, you know, this kind of snow is very damaging, uh, and you know the way I feel about it. So that's it for this update. I don't want to make it long, uh, but uh, we're all storm-weary, and really do hope this is the last one for the season. Take care.